what's up YouTube I'm back here with another video I'm back here with the Troy built pony rod lawnmower today we're going to be replacing the uh, steering shaft all right so uh, the past couple times at least two times maybe three times that I've done cut my go with this rod lawnmower here uh, I've been noticing that the gears they would uh slip it's not real bad right now yeah you just heard that click uh -oh. you at let me see i think it does it more to the left the be to what you're right and i want to say it's because uh not only because of the age of this rod line more which is Rod lawnmower here was manufactured back in uh, 2008. I'm dreading doing this, but it's got to be done. So uh, I guess without further ado, uh, let's do it. I know I don't leave this rod lawnmower out uh, in the weather or whatever. As bad as it may look or whatever, hey, you know, this right here is just. Um, this right here is just only the looks. And I hope it ain't as hard as everybody uh, says that it is. I can remove uh, two bolts on the uh, left and the right side here. This here should just lift right out. We got this down here. Y'all not even paying no attention to what I'm saying here. I don't know if y'all can make this out, but it's right down here. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is, is I'm gonna have to cut these, uh, this zip tie here. They say, oh, you have to buy a special uh, zip tie. No, you don't, I mean, as long as it's thick enough and everything, hey, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, buying the OEM, the Briggs and Stratton uh, tie down, cable tie, whatever it's called. I don't know the name of it, don't really care but this right here, it's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and uh, let's remove this gas tank. I'm just gonna cut it about right there. And uh, just so that y'all know, right down here, I put a pair of vice grips. My little tiny, tiny vice grips here. You can see how big they are, right? Anyway, and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna call myself trying to fish this out. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, <laughs> just a bunch of uh, zip ties put together. Alright, so now we need to remove these uh, four bolts. Keep, it out, keep in mind now, there's two on this side and two on that side. You may be like, well, I mean, so how in the hell are you going to get this here out the way? Well, I mean, if I... All right, so I'm going to try to get y'all the best shots I can. Uh, let's see. Oh, dang, I'm just... That's not right. It's uh, three of these bolts here. It's just holding uh, this collar up. I'll get y'all a shot here in a moment. All right, there you have that. I want to say this right here is a either a 3 8 or a 7 16 we're not going to be using this guy right here but uh I want to see yeah I believe that right there is a 7 16 all right so if you would go ahead and lift up on the uh screen. all right so as y'all see it right there comes out just like that. What I gotta do is, is I'm gonna have to take off the 
steering wheel and uh yeah it'll slip off from the uh, other way so we really didn't even need to take this here off but oh well so anyway i'm gonna take y'all over here to workbench and we're gonna uh get this bolt uh out of here and uh let's go ahead and let's do it this is cali say hey cali Alright, so uh, back now I had to put the doggy up, so uh, we'll make this easy. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put this up in the bench vice like that. Y'all not even looking what I'm doing. What's wrong with y'all? Alright, so slide this big old. There we go. Uh, man, it's probably just a long bolt. All right, yeah, so it, it's got a washer in there too as well. I'm gonna do them when we get a rubber mallet. All right, so I got a just a piece of wood right here. All right, uh, let me let me try something else. I've never seen nobody on YouTube do this before, but I'm doing it, so I'll take the blame. All right, so uh, I'm finally back. Uh, man, as you see, I'm sweating my ass off. Uh, I finally got this damn thing here out. Uh, off of this damn shaft right here this thing right here was really really on there troy built built for life <laughs> they wouldn't they wouldn't bs whenever they said that i had it up in the vise and everything as y'all can obviously see my camera lens is dirty too anyway uh now we can finally go ahead and we can remove this Oh my lord. This shaft right here, as y'all can probably see, it's not chewed up terribly bad. Yeah, it is most definitely wear and tear. But anyway, yeah. But yeah, this this son of a gun right here, it was not trying to come off. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm most definitely uh going to apply some never sees to this. I want to show y'all the bolt here. Fix my screen. <clears throat> That's that. Well, I'm actually gonna keep this. I'm gonna clean this here up with the wire wheel, and uh, yeah. But we're most definitely gonna need this. It's probably about a week later, and this right here is the one from the Craftsman T150. All right, so now I need to take this uh, steering rod. And it needs to go down up in here. Shit. It slipped out. Mother okay, uh, so here is the little bolt that goes right here all right so now um it's a real tight squeeze up under here y'all i got my friend here holding the steering wheel and uh anyway what i gotta do is i gotta of course get this tightened down uh but yeah Oh, you can feel it now, can't you? I'm asking him. Can you feel me tightening down on it? Uh. 
cut. That's a bitch right there. Alright, uh, give me one second. Alright, so, uh, what I'm gonna ask you to, what I want you to do is I want you to, uh, Alright, uh, turn the wheels. Does it feel like it should? Or does it feel too tight or what? It don't feel tight. I know that I feel for you didn't know. But it don't feel tight. It feels good and loose. Not too loose, but there is that right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, let's tighten up the steering wheel a little bit. Alright, so uh, now my friend here, Mark, he's going to uh, hold the steering wheel nice and tight. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and crank it down a little bit. shot here all right so here's what I had to do I'm gonna have to order another part for this let me show y'all what had broke it was this right here it's this guy right here that right there has snapped in half this right here um, it's not the final fix, but I may do a update on this. I guess let's go ahead and uh, let's reinstall the gas tank and uh, the mount for it. All right, you got four bolts that uh, holds this here in. got this type of whatever this is uh, it's like that there anyway it goes on like this right here you have a lock nut and then you just have another nut I'm not really feeling all that well so um, yeah had a seizure uh, Monday or Tuesday um, and anyway uh, just not feeling all that well <sighs> all right <sighs> got this board removed all right so I got my long zip tie here tank here a little tech tip I got the uh, vice grips facing kind of downwards where it would slide back down into 
into this hole. to uh, connect the gas tank, the gas line. It's probably gonna take it uh, a little bit of time to start up, cause just gotta get back down into the park right here. today's video again I'm tired I don't feel good so anyway um, I'll catch y'all in this video peace out